Come on now, this one does. Um, oh, right here. No, go back, go back. All right. Yeah, no, Carrer, um, you can get this in the exam. And it's good when you get in the exam. Yeah, sure. Odd and even types of functions. Oh, that's a terrible page. Right. So we call a function even if f x equals f minus x. And we call a function odd if f x if f minus uh, you know what I'm going to put the minus it doesn't matter I'm just going to put the minus on the left make it look nicer if f minus x equals minus fx let me clean that up so basically um, even functions don't care about the sign if you put in a positive or the negative of the number, you get the same answer. So x squared is a good example. What's 2 squared? 4. What's minus 2 squared? It's also 4. So x squared is an even function because it doesn't care about the sign. Yeah? An odd function does care about the sign, but it just puts a minus in front of the answer and it doesn't really care about the sign. I mean, and a good example would be x cubed because 2 cubed is 8 and minus 2 cubed is also 8 but with a minus. It's minus 8. So it, ca it just about cares about the sign but it doesn't change the size of the number. Um, so like some examples of even. fx equals x squared is even. fx equals x cubed is odd. But of course, sometimes the function is not even or odd. EX is not even and it's not odd. So this one here is neither. So we have something this one has there. No, not just neither. How can we tell from the graph if something is even or odd? Well, can I go down? Yeah. If a function, no. Yeah? yeah? If a function is even, what you'll notice about the graph, so this is if it's even, is um, the shape of the curve on the left should match exactly the shape on the right. So basically, even functions always have a perfect mirror image. And when you think about the x squared graph, it does have this mirror image shape, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. What other graphs are even? X squared is one. Anything else? Minus x squared. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> Minus x squared. What about x squared plus x plus one? No idea. Ah, oh, no, you do have an idea. Yes. It's even, yeah. it's not. <laughs> because look at the graph for x squared plus x plus 1. That's not even. Yeah. At least he gave me an answer. Why is this not even? Because different values of y are Go on. Because you shifted from the middle. Yeah. yeah. Yes. 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 This is not the same uh, on the left and the right of the y-axis. In fact, there's more on the left in this picture. X squared plus x cubed. Uh, no. Again, um, uh, x squared. No, I think that's not neither. 
No, no, it is neither. X squared plus X. Also neither. Okay. Uh, right, so what does a odd function look like? So if it's odd, um, firstly, odd functions must pass through the origin. Must they? They must. Yeah, and also the image in the top right must be repeated on the left and upside down. So in your mind, what you need to imagine is, imagine you flip this over to the left, so it's like even, and then you flip it down. You see what I'm doing there? Flip this over to make a mirror, and then flip it down, so it should go like this. That's what you need for an odd function. You need to be able to flip this over and flip it down. So it's almost like here, the graph on the left, you go flip it, sorry, the graph, the curve on the right, you flip it to the left, and then you flip it down here, like this. Oh, Cubic-like, cubic yeah. Yeah, or it could be upside down as well, it would do. So for example, x cubed. x cubed You see? Any other functions? Yeah? Is this? <coughs> I don't know, maybe it's not clear, but uh, is there x if it's uh should be always present really. That's one to one. One to one. Yeah. But is it maybe a non negative? Is the the origin is straight somehow? No, no, it just looks straight. If you zoom in, it's actually increasing. So you're right, Fahad. If it was flat, that would be a problem, but it's not, it just looks like that. If you zoom in, it's not. Well, I'll have to change. Trust me, I, it's not showing up here, but that's not flat. It's increasing, but tiny amounts. Um, any other functions? What about sine x? What do you think? Even or odd? Picture the graph. Even. It is odd. Because it has that kind of cubic shape at the center. Whereas cos x even. is even. And it's, this one is maybe easier to see. Look how it's a mirror image here. See how it's a mirror? So cos x is an even function. Sine x is an odd function. E x is neither. Log x is neither. X squared? Even, even x cubed? Odd. odd. So you can tell from the graph. But there is another way to tell. X plus x plus one is neither. Go back to the definition. If it is even, f of minus x should equal f of x. If it is odd, f of minus x should equal minus f of x. You can use this to check if something is even or odd. What you want to do is check what f of minus x equals. If you get f of x, what type is this? It is even. And if you get minus f of x, it's odd. Let me show you an example. Let's use our friend x squared. All right, x cubed. I will do f. Even, odd, or neither. It's even. It's even, but we need to check and prove. Okay, I can do this example? Yeah. yeah. So, what you need to check is um, 
Okay. Check what f of minus x equals. That's equal to minus x squared. Yeah? You just put x is minus x. What's minus x squared? That's x squared. Isn't it? Because when you square a minus, it's gone. But what does x squared equal? That's equal to... Here, I'll, I'll make it even more explicit. That's equal to that, which is equal to minus 1 squared times x squared, which is equal to x squared, which is equal to f of x. So you started with f of minus x, and you finished with f of x. Therefore, it's even. I do hit that. What do you mean how? Let's go back. No, no, okay, watch. If I put minus x into this, it becomes minus x squared, okay. which is the same as minus 1 multiplied by x squared, okay. which is the same as minus 1 uh, multiplied by x squared. <coughs> I'm being extra clear. Okay. That's, a, that's the same as that. That's the same as minus 1 squared multiplied by x squared. What's minus 1 squared? 1. And what's x squared? x squared. What's 1 times x squared? x squared. But what does x squared equal? x squared is f of x. So I started with f of minus x, and I finished with this. You can say f of minus x equals f of x, therefore it's even. Let's do an example of one that's odd. So what function is odd? Star squared x cubed. No, our enemy x cubed. <laughs> sine x. <laughs> uh, sine x, yeah. Uh, but mm, we won't do sine or cos. The way to do sine or cos is a little bit different. What you could do is draw the graph of sine or cos and do it from the graph. But there are better ways to do it, which we'll see later when we do trigonometry again. Can I do x cubed? Yeah, it'll be very similar to this. So if you have fx equals x cubed, okay, f of minus x, what does that equal? That's equal to minus x cubed, which equals minus 1 cubed multiplied by x cubed. Um, what's minus 1 cubed? Minus 1. What's x cubed? x cubed. So this equals minus x cubed. Or if you want to be extra clear, it equals minus bracket x cubed. But what's minus x cubed? Well, that's equal to minus f of x. Because that's f of x. So therefore, f of minus x equals minus f of x, and we call this function odd. Now these are simple examples, but it gives you the idea. Let's see what other types you have. That's not it. <laughs> Uh, can I go down? Yes, sure. Okay, so what about something like this? F of X Carrar. Right. If I see you use your phone again, I will throw it out the window and then you will follow it. <laughs> All right. What do you think here? Is this function even or odd? I don't know by the next yeah, I'll throw you out the window with your phone, and I won't buy you the phone. Yeah, I'm going to use the iPhone. Hmm? Use the second law. Let's test this. <laughs> right. Um, even or odd, what do you think here? Or neither? Odd. We think it's odd. Or uh, even. We think it's even. Odd. Because of the x squared. But that's not enough of a reason. We need to check. So we check as normal, f of minus x, 
equals 1 over 25 minus x squared plus 25, which equals 1 over, what's minus x squared? That's just x squared, isn't it? But we've ended up back at the start, f of x. So therefore, f of minus x equals f of x. So that means uh, it is even. Sometimes I'll uh, do two more examples and then we'll finish. Can I scroll down? Yeah. Oh, I see where my text is. Maybe it's down. No, it's stupidly neat here. Right. Um, what about this function? f of x equals ex. Even, odd, or neither? Uh, odd. Neither. neither. So f of minus x equals e to the power of minus x which does not equal ex, right? They're two different things. Mm -hmm. And it does not equal minus e x. So you have a uh, neither. You can't say it's even or odd because you can't get it back to fx or minus fx. So it's neither. All right, I want to give you one to try. Um, can I go down, sorry? Yeah. fx equals no, no, I want to take a good one. X cubed plus something. A cube. I was thinking of a cube one, but mm. X cubed plus something. No, no, no. Let me think. I want a good one. One that would blow your mind. Mm. What? X power four or five. No, that's boring. That's boring. Um, stop talking. Um, uh, I got something. Uh, just let me think, right? We'll do a quadratic. Right. Calculate. Check if this is even, odd, or neither. Even. Yeah. Because f of minus x equals minus x squared minus 256, which equals x squared minus 256, which equals f of x. So it's even. Ah, that was stupid. One more. Um, let's see. Let me think. Let me think of a good one that will blow your mind. Uh, okay. X squared, X cubed minus 256X. tutorial tomorrow.
hard to turn, but. It's odd. F of minus x equals minus x cubed minus 256 times minus x, which equals minus x cubed plus 256x, which equals minus bracket <coughs> x cubed. What's wrong? It's like minus bracket to minus 256 plus. Mm, yes, <laughs> that's what I did. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this is equal to minus f of x. So it's odd. If some could figure out the whole thing, maybe it took you step to step, or can we get out maybe half mark? Maybe, or maybe no mark. By the way, if I look, if I just make one tiny change here, look, Karar, if I wrote plus one here, if I wrote plus one here, okay. uh, then there'd be a plus one here, uh -huh. then there'd be a plus one here. If I took out the minus, then there'd be a minus one here. And now what's here is different to what's here. It's impossible to match it up. It would be neither. So <coughs> one small change could make a big difference. Wow, that sounds like a recycling commercial. <laughs> uh, right, the ones you should try here. Um, you know, something like A to G. A to G? Yeah, just practice a few of them. And then A, B, C, D is actually not... Uh, a, B, C, D is actually rather interesting. Yes. And what's <coughs> Well, this is the thing. Do do they follow the same rules as with even and odd numbers? So, for example, is an even function by an even function an even function? Yes. Yeah. Well, you need to verify. Uh, I think it's an A to G, wasn't it? A to G, yeah. A, B, C, D. And A, B, C, D from number two. Adios.